Hi, I'm John Biggs with TechCrunch. I'm here with Shai Schechter and Andre Kovab of Delta Printer. This is a brand new 3D printer that's coming out on uh, Kickstarter right now. And these guys are still students. You guys are still students building a really, really cool 3D printer. It's actually printing a vase or something mm -hmm. right now. Is it printing this thing here? Uh, it's a different vase. It's a different actually, type, yeah. yes. But it, at least similar, we, similar one, yeah. we, have, we have a panoply of vases here. It's really yeah. amazing. So tell us about the printer itself and your, uh, and your crowdfunding right now. Uh, so the idea originally started, I'm a graphic design student, and I also do sculpture. Uh, one of the great things uh, about these printers is you can make 3D models and then you can do gloss cax uh, waxing. So basically what you do is you print something out and then you can submerge it in the wax, melt it out, and you can convert that to bronze or uh, any type of steel. So it's a great educational tool when it comes to sculpture, for example, uh, or any other type of uh, uh, 3D modeling or uh, software, anything that has to do with 3D modeling. So the idea originally started when um, I proposed to my professor, why don't we make a 3D printer for our school? Because the funds were limited. Uh, so I received the grant for $1,000. Uh, we made the printer for our school, and since then uh, we've made two models, and every single student is using them. Uh, so now we're on Kickstarter. Uh, we want to make more of these printers to make them more affordable, uh, mostly for educational purposes. So this is a Delta printer, which means it has these three arms that go up and down. Why did you choose this design versus a, I guess you could say a Cartesian printer or one of the, one of the printers that the mm -hmm. head moves in an axis, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the main difference between Cartesian type printers and the Delta by is Cartesian type printers, they have a limit how fast they can move. Because you have to uh, make sure all the axes are aligned all the time. Uh, Delta bots have long been used in the packaging industry, and therefore all we did was put a hot end on it, and you have a 3D printer. And the speed is not really uh, limited by the resolution. Uh, uh, sorry, the opposite way. The resolution is not really limited by the speed. Because the faster you print, uh, the more you have to make sure that the resolution stays high. So uh -huh. it's a. Uh, you have to give up. And it goes at approximately like 200 uh, millimeters per second, mm -hmm. so it goes quickly. Um, it's still really accurate, um, comes out at 100 microns. And so we're getting um, high accuracy and resolution at a fast speed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are, fairly, these are fairly nice prints. This is a really thin. Yeah. Uh, it's probably one shell, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's one shell. And, it's, uh, and then we have something like this, which is solid. Uh -huh. So it's solid all the way through, or did you just um, do That's like 15% info. It's about 15% info. Okay. Yeah. It depends what you're printing. Uh, so there's different speeds and options that you mm -hmm. have. Yeah. All right, excellent. Are you guys open sourcing this, or are you just going to yeah, build it yeah. for your student? Yeah, build it and definitely. Uh, after the Kickstarter is over, we plan to release the files uh, on the internet. Uh, there's a lot of people that think uh, if you open source something, you're going to have trouble uh, selling it. But it's actually better when you open source, because you're releasing it to the public. Uh, people can add on to it. They can notice improve problems. It. Yeah, they can improve it. And then you can put it back into the market and you can, you know, it's sort of like a cycle. People improve on it and you can give them the discount. Sure. All right. Excellent. Shai, Andre, thank you for coming out and showing mm -hmm. me this. It's, uh, it took a little while to get this up, but you guys have yeah. a couple more days on the yeah. Kickstarter. So let's see, uh, let's see where it goes. Thank yeah. you. All right. Thanks thank for you. coming out. I'm John Biggs with TechCrunch. Thanks for watching.